Hey guys, I'm back. 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 Hey y'all, I am back. I'm back. I'm super excited to be back with you guys today. As y'all know, and if you don't know, welcome. If you're new, let me know you're new. Let me know where you're located. If you don't know, I am in Georgia. Yes, I'm in Georgia in the surrounding Atlanta area. Oh, that makes my day. Hey, my Labor Day was the bomb. The bomb. Me and my kids went to Helen, Georgia. If you are in the surrounding areas, please go to Helen. It's absolutely amazing. My son said it felt like 2019 before COVID. Like, <laughs> like it was so relaxed. We had a ball. We had so much fun. I did a lot of my pictures. Like, everything was in my stories. Detroit in the building. I got some family out there. Well, I did. Most of them are. My uncles lived up there. They're, I only think it's one left. Everybody else said, New York. How's New York doing? Is y'all okay up there? My people in New York. My people in Philly. My people in Jersey. How are y'all doing? My people in New Orleans. How are y'all? Because, you know, now since the water gone, nobody really say nothing. I just want to know, how are y'all doing um, after that flood, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Kentucky in the building. All right, y'all. So I'm going to jump right into this. Y'all know I've been trying to do better with making sure these are, are 30 minutes at max. Okay. So you're probably thinking like, what is Belize talking about? Stop lying. Okay. Oh, they just clean it up. Okay. Cool. 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 Cause I'm ready to come back to New York. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I love New York. <laughs> Okay, New Jersey is cool. I have a client. Her house is completely flooded. And I feel so bad because she just moved in. Like, it was completely flooded. Her car, too. She lost everything. She lost everything. That hurts. But oh, that's one of my favorite clients. Okay. So, today, I want to talk and deal with stop lying. And what you will probably... A lot of you going to want to know what I'm talking about. And it's, it's on... It's more personal than it is to anybody else. A lot of you guys are lying to yourself that you are okay with your status. It's okay to say you're not okay with your status. It's okay to say, I really don't want to have herpes. It's okay. Like, I want us to get to a place where you don't have to fake it till you make it. You can just make it. Okay, because if you don't get to a place to realize that you are not happy with the fact that you have herpes or how it happened or what happened or how is it making you feel or how you view yourself, then how are you going to get to a place of acceptance to live? How are you going to get there? For somebody who faked it till you make it and for somebody like that, I'm talking to people. I'm talking to you because I was that girl. I was lying to myself. I was living in the now. I was trying to act like I didn't have it. I tried to continue to do what I wanted to do, but my self-esteem was lower than ever before. I literally had a hard time disclosing or struggled to disclose or didn't at all because my doctor said it wasn't no big deal, so I wasn't telling, but I felt horrible. I felt like the worst person in the world. Um, so I was like, I can't do this. But I was still struggling because I'm like, but nobody's going to want me. Nobody's going to love me. Like, I'm already struggling to find a boyfriend. Like, I don't even know how to do this. Like, I was having a hard time. I was only 20. I was still finding myself. I didn't even know who I was. Hey, loves. I didn't know who I was. I was just a sophomore in college. I was like, I just want to have fun and figure out what I want to do in my life. <laughs> you know, type thing. Um... But they didn't happen. I was just like, I was just, I was a ball of emotions, but a ball of emotions who was hiding them. And I tell you now, do not hide and stop lying to yourself. Living in denial don't get you nowhere. You're being fake. Fake folks don't last. We look at social media. They fall apart. Fake folks don't last. Hey, love. You don't last. And for you to literally get to a place of... Being in a relationship you want, um, having the children comfortably like you want, doing what you want, living like you want, not feeling like your career is on hold, not feeling like hanging out with your friends on hold, not, not feeling like you lost yourself. You got to stop lying to yourself. Police, how do I stop lying to myself? Number one, tell yourself you're lying. I mean, that's number one. 
the first way to deal with something, you got to acknowledge that you are lying. <laughs> you got to acknowledge that you are lying to yourself. And it's okay. We're so taught, especially in the African-American community, to fake it till we make it. It is the big, that's the worst thing we could have ever told each other. It's fake it till you make it. Because my whole thing is you faking it till you make it, you're not happy how you're making it. You're not happy. You're not enjoying it. You're not, you don't have the peace. You don't have the joy. So why fake it? Why not feel low and then deal with it and then get to your high and be for real, for real on a high and for real, for real happy and for real, for real um, living your life. Why fake? It's the worst thing we ever told our community. Stop faking and deal with yourself and live. So number one, stop lying. Tell yourself I'm a liar. It's okay. It's okay. Most of y'all lies anyway. We all lie about something. Nobody's perfect. But right now I need you to say, I'm lying to myself pertaining to how I feel about my herpes diagnosis. I'm proud of you. It was hard because you don't want to call yourself a liar. Okay, let's be honest. We don't, none of us like liars. We hate liars. We can't stand liars. Okay, I need you to say you can't stand yourself today because you've been lying to yourself the whole time. Okay? I hate that stuff on my lips, y'all. Hate it. All right? Yeah. I hate that, y'all. Huh. But still, hate it. We hate liars. And right now, it's okay for 2.5 seconds to say, I hate that part of myself. I hate that part of myself. Because until you acknowledge it, you will not change it. Until you acknowledge it, you're going to stay right there. So that's the first thing I want you to do is to acknowledge it, okay? After you acknowledge, now it's time to do some work, okay? Because many of y'all have acknowledged, I hate this, I don't like this, I this, that, but you have not done nothing to change it. What you have done is say, I got this. I'll be okay. You have told yourself, oh, I'll be all right with being single. I'll, oh, I'll just be celibate for years. Oh, oh, I'll be okay with not having children. Oh, you know, a matter of fact, I'll stay with my the current relationship that I hate. It's toxic, but I'll stay here because he quote unquote accepts me. Or she quote unquote accepts. Stop. Stop. You got to do the work. After you decide that you really, you tell yourself that you've been lying. Now you got to do the work, which is working towards what you want. You cannot sit where you are today and do nothing. And then expect you to accept yourself. You cannot sit right here and say, I want confidence, but then keep telling yourself you're ugly, disgusting, nobody wants you. How do you think some? First of all, nobody wants what you are giving out. You're only going to get what you give out. If you say you are nasty and disgusting, then people are going to look at you as nasty and you're disgusting. If you are in a low place, you're only going to get low things. If you're in a relationship right now, he's disrespecting you. It's because your confidence is shot. Y'all don't want to hear it. Men included. Men included. Stop settling. You're settling because you're not doing the work. But at least how I do the work. I'm here. I, I've been trying to tell y'all to reach out to me. Y'all so scary. Y'all are so scary. And now let me tell you why you scary because half of y'all don't want to do it. Okay. You think you can do it by yourself. Baby, if you don't been living with herpes for more than two years and you still in a low place, you can't do it. You need some help. I don't know any good team that didn't have a coach. Okay? Now, I went to uh, I went to Auburn and we play Alabama every year. Okay? I'm not against uh, Alabama Roll Tide. Go, y'all. But War Eagle all day. That's my babies. Okay? But they win every year because they got a god darn good coach. Yeah, the guys are great. But if they did not want to submit and do the work, they will not be winning every single year. They win every single year because, number one, they got a good coach. And they wanted to go to the school where they got the best coach. And they were willing to put in the work. I am the best coach. I can just call it for what it is. I am the best coach. I was the first coach. I was the best coach. But a lot of y'all don't want to be, y'all don't want to work. Why is that? Why is it? I can tell you why. It's because we have been taught within many of our communities, most of, most of my clients, most of you guys are African American or of mel melanin, color, however you want to say. I hate color, it's so racist. But anyway, um, 
still, you got some melanin in your skin. We have been taught that getting help, it shows that you're weak. You know what makes you weak is when you don't get help. That's weak. That you got all this help around you, all these resources around you, and you're not used. Now, that's weak. That's a weak mindset. That I will not utilize my resources. That's weak. It don't make you weak if you're asking for help. But that's what we've been taught. And since we've been taught that, we still live in it. We still walk in it. And that's why many of you guys have herpes, been having it for over two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and never received any help. Have been to therapy and never told your therapist that you have herpes. And that's what you're there for. Because you thought you were weak. I'm strong, especially women. I'm strong. I can handle it. Men, oh, darn now, he ain't going to talk about it. I love when my men come talk to me because that I respect him as a man to even open his mouth and say, sis, I need help. And like, bro, whatever you need, I got your back. Because it takes a lot to want to open your mouth when people have been telling you, you got it, you can handle it, you strong. My whole that strong crap, throw it out the window. Throw it out the window. You can be strong all day, but if you ain't never dealt with this situation, it ain't nothing to be strong about. You don't know what to do if you never had herpes. Never heard of herpes. How can you be strong in something you never dealt with? That is just, a, honestly, that mindset is, is, is sickening. Because a lot of people are going through so much. And I can say even dealing with COVID, dealing with people losing their jobs, these floods, just so much. They're dealing with, with so much in private because I'm strong. Throw that crap out of the window. Throw it out of the window. If you want to move forward in life, you must get help. I don't know who told you you don't. I don't care about all these self-proclaimed millionaires, billionaires. They all had mentors. Every person who is great had a mentor of some sort. Paid for or not paid for. They had a mentor. Let me tell you, you need to invest in a mentor, a therapist, a something, a course, a something. Because if you don't got this far and you still ain't got nowhere, you need some help. And I'm here. Y'all know I'm here. I'll be all up in the DMs. I'll be all up in the messages. I like y'all posts. I send you little heart faces. I'm real. But a lot of y'all just scared to do the work. And some of you guys have to reprogram your mind on what help looks like. Help doesn't mean that person is demeaning you. Help doesn't mean that you uh, are being disrespected. Help doesn't mean it's going to get thrown back in your face. It's none of it. Because a lot of you guys have been in some very traumatic experiences where you asked for help and that person made you feel bad or threw it in your face or truly didn't help you. They just want to have something to talk about. And I'm sorry, I am not that type of person. Anybody who ever worked with me, have done any talk to me, know that I don't get down like that. I give you some tough love. I may chump you off just a tad, but it's in love. I love you. Because some of y'all just need some tough love. And when I say tough love, I mean love is the leading cause of whatever I say to you. A lot of y'all just been very much disrespected. You ain't been loved on. You've been disrespected. It's a difference. And a lot of us have dealt with more disrespect than we have dealt with love. So sometimes it's going to come out seem like I'm being disrespectful. I ain't. I love you. And I'm going to hug you. And I'm not going to leave you in your mess. But my question is, are you going to leave yourself in your mess? A lot of y'all are leaving yourselves where y'all are, and you don't have to do that. You have help. I'm here. Y'all come on these lives. Y'all like posts. Y'all DM me. But if you do not do the work, none of that going to get you nothing. A like ain't going to get you nothing. A looking at a live ain't going to get you nothing. Some of y'all need to have conversations. Some of y'all need courses. Some of y'all just need to simply implement some of y'all don't talk on the phone, got a course, got products. Y'all don't do everything and still have not implemented nothing I told you. You got to do the work. Regardless of what you do, you must do the work. You must do the work. So I tell you now, number one, tell yourself you're a liar. <laughs> okay. I've been lying to myself. Number two, now saying, what am I going to do about it? Let's do some work. You're not on my page by accident. You want to know how you found me? God is my recruiter. 
You found me through a scroll. You found me through a share. You found me through a story. You found me through explore. You found me through YouTube. God dropped me right where he needed you, where he needed you to find me. I'm telling y'all, people have found me in the weirdest places because God dropped it because he knew you were going to be right there. A lot of y'all ain't never seen me in your life. And probably would never would have found me. But God said, no, you've been praying for something. You've been crying about something. You've been searching for something. And this girl got exactly what you need. So now since your prayer has been answered, what are you going to do? A lot of you guys' prayers have been answered, but y'all do nothing with the answer prayer. You think the prayer supposed to come and you do nothing. Where have that lie have come? Faith without works is dead. Okay. You did the prayer. He offered you something. Now you got to do your part again. It's like this. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all work together. Y'all team. So I don't did my part. I'm just waiting on you to come back onto the court and let's play. Best believe we going to win. Nobody ever, nobody have ever worked with me and not have not overcome the stigma. Nobody ever worked with me and not been married, not have children. Literally I have clients who have babies. I don't have most of my clients this year get married. You know why? It's because I did the work and I've been married. I have had children. I have had a sex life and I have lived my life. So they can't be nothing but me. I'm going to tell you what you want. You see it. I'm living my life. Nothing stopping me. Nothing. Mind on good. Body getting right. Peaceful traveling, living. Got the kids. Waiting on my next husband to show up. Throwing it in the circle in the club. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I went out the other day. I had a ball, y'all. I had a ball. I'm telling y'all. That's all I got to say. Stop lying to yourself. You know you're not happy with your status. You know it. But you have not did anything yet. Stop expecting herpes to go away or to bury it with, with, with uh, denial and bury it with mess. No, you're going to have to dig that sucker up and deal with it because it's going to herpes overflows on every area of your life. Because your confidence gets shot. You think everybody know your business. Now you get paranoid and all this other stuff. Let me help you. So now, this is how I'm going to help y'all. Number one, you got to, you really got three options. Number one, we got a confidence is your problem uh, webinar live webinar coming up on seven, uh, September 16th. No, September 18th. I'm sorry, y'all. I got something else going on 16th. September 18th at 6 p.m. I only got limited tickets left. I'm waiting on y'all because y'all, like I said, y'all not doing the work. Y'all don't want to do the work yet. So for the people who want to do the work, this is your opportunity. To go on to this webinar with me and others and let's get the problem solved, which is your confidence. Let's deal with it. Y'all, that confidence thing is laid out. I wrote that thing. That thing's so pretty. I'm going to get your life, okay? Tickets are $55. Get your ticket. When it's gone, it's gone. That's your first option, okay? That's coming up next week, next Saturday, all right? Number two, you got the option to get on the phone with me, okay? Number two. Get on the phone with me. 150 to get on the phone with me. Four hour. Now, some people are like, I don't want to be with nobody else. At least I want to talk to you all by myself. I want to have you all to myself. I'm all down for that. I give you all my attention. Okay? That's available to you in the bio. All right? Overcome a session. Number three, you got courses. How to uh, how to disclose. How to have sex after. 72 hours after. 72 hours after course. It's a free course. But it kind of identify where you are. That's your only three options. Webinar on the seven on the 18th. You have private with me, or you do courses. That's it. Do the work. Pick where you want to be. Pick with. But my whole thing is all y'all, all 20 of y'all need to pick. And all the replays, you need to pick what side you're gonna be on. I love you dearly. I'm gonna keep getting on you because a lot of y'all don't know me yet. So you're starting to learn, trying to trust me. But for my people who don't been here long enough, now nah, I'm calling you out. You need to come on and let me work with you. Let's get this over with. This year's going out. I do not want you to go into this new year. We don't know what 2022 go hold. I need you to go in with some confidence. Cause the world getting crazy out here in these streets, and you need to have some confidence in yourself. Or you have a hard time dealing with everything that's going on in the world. 
So make sure you get your tickets. Okay, get your ticket for the con um, for the live webinar on the 18th. Confidence is my problem. Um, and also, if you need to do a session with me, overcoming sessions, or if you want to do the courses, everything is in the bio. Okay, everything is in the bio. Absolutely everything. Yes, you did so good. I'm so proud of you. That's one of my clients, y'all. When he came to me, he had no self-esteem. Look at him now. <laughs> I get my men together, too. You're welcome, sweetie. You're welcome. Hey, love. Yeah, I know how you found me, but I'm not going to say that on here. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, people find me in the weirdest places. You'll be surprised. God will drop me anywhere. I appreciate everybody who bought a bass. I absolutely love you. People don't have operation. I don't know what you're talking about, sweetie. Everything you've been saying has been very random, so I don't know what you're talking about. Um, But all right, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. I want to stay under the time limit. So... If this is a replay, put replay for you. Um, Rewatch it. Do what you need to do. That's just period. Stop being a liar. I'm just going to say that. Stop being a liar. That's all I... Stop being a liar today. Make a decision not to be a, a liar today, tomorrow, next week, this week. Just stop lying to yourself and do the work. All right? Thank you for being a voice of reason. Absolutely. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to keep it real. I don't know no other way. No other way. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. Keep looking out. I'll be here tomorrow. Oh, it's for somebody else. Okay, I'm like, what's going on? I'm confused. Okay. All right, cool beans. All right. So I love you guys. See you guys tomorrow. I'll be talking about oral sex tomorrow. Oral sex tomorrow. Because I know y'all be asking me questions. So I'm going to talk about oral sex and how that looks and how that gets down. Um, so... Make sure you guys uh, come on tomorrow. Don't ask me what time because I don't know. Just, you know, make sure you follow me so you and put your notification on so you won't miss it. Thank you so much, love. Y'all love me. I love y'all too. Y'all have no clue. I love y'all. And if you order any products, all your products are gone. Like everything is gone. I shipped out all orders today. And y'all bear with orders just because, you know, all the flooding and stuff happened. Some stuff may be a little delayed. Maybe a little delay. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.